Hi, today I'm going to show you how to retrieve the data from Firebase database. So let's start. Open your Android Studio. Click on start a new Android Studio project. Select empty activity, click on next. Name of your application. Read data. Click on finish. Now we connect our Android Studio with Firebase database. So click on tools, Firebase. Click on real-time database, save and retrieve the data. Connect to Firebase. Remember your Android Studio login ID must be same as your Firebase login ID. Click on connect to Firebase. Green tick means our Android Studio is connected to Firebase. Now open your Firebase console. Here you can see that our project is created, read data. Click on read data. Click on database. Click on create database. Next. Done. Now click on real-time database. Here we added the root. Read true. And click on publish. Rule published. Now we add some data. Name. Diksha. And click on add. Now click on RES layout activity main.xml here we click on add the real time database to your app click on accept changes as you can see that dependent dependencies set up correctly now click on griddle build out griddle app Here we change nineteen point two point one and click on sync now. It syncs successfully. Now click on build out griddle project level. Here we change four point three point three and click on sync now. Now, click on project overview setting. Here you find Google JSON file. Download the file. And copy. First change project view. And paste it in app. Mm -hmm. 
click on OK. Now we work on XML code. So let's take layout. The add one button. Layout type wrap content. Layout with wrap content. ID button. ID text view text size and DSP below text view text Click. Everything. Now main activity. Text view. Text view button database reference text view equals to find view by id r dot id dot text view btn find view by id r dot id dot ETN database reference equals to five database dot get instance dot get reference database reference dot add value event listener new value event listener. A string name equals to data snapshot dot get value string dot class. Now text view dot set text and we pass new. Here we need a name, so we have to pass the path here. The path is name. So like name. Now I'm going to run my project. Here you can see that the name is display here. Now, now we add this code on button click. So button dot set on click listener new on click listener. Now copy this code. here and run the project. Now when I click on button, it display the name here. 
थैंक यू इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज डोंट फॉर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब